one success story that I actually have heard more than once, and I think that's mm -hmm. why it stands out, is because just how frequently I've heard the same type of story is the success after being not successful. And I think it's because that these individuals, for example, and this is usually the case, it's usually they either bombed the MCAT or didn't get into med school the first time. And it's what they did in that year after they didn't get in the first time that helped them get in. So the success there is they didn't get in, which for many people would be a huge setback, mm -hmm. a setback that they wouldn't want to reapply, which is a terrible idea. To not reapply it shows that you're not really that committed to the field. Right. But what they did was they took that year to do something better themselves, either get a master's degree or do more clinical research or volunteer. I knew some, some um, one of the students I'm referring to actually did Teach for America for mm. a year to really get a better sense of the community that she might want to someday practice in. And it was those consistently the same story of bettering yourself, bettering not just for your application. I mean, that's mm -hmm. not the reason you should be doing this. Really should be for your future so that you can contribute more, so that you can feel com more compassionate, empathetic, that you can understand the, the communities that you'll be serving in, and then becoming successful and getting into medical school that route. And I have to say there is something to be said for coming, coming back from a failure, or a failure. I shouldn't really mm -hmm. call it a failure because I don't I think you can learn so much from, from things not going the way you thought they should go.